guys back with another review for you today we're going to have a look at clearly scale engine it's the lsx 442 supercharged v8 engine set uh, specifically this motor was done for the 83 hearst oldsmobile now it's designed to be a direct fit from what i can gather so we'll have a look at that now they do offer um, a whole bunch of parts for this kit um, they offer seats rims the halibrand style rims uh, this lsx uh, 442 supercharged engine set and they do have other lsx engines for this as well um, they have the tail fin and they have uh, resin front uh, bumper and grill and everything and also a front air dam but specifically I wanted to have a look at uh, the LSX 442 engine um, very impressed with uh, the whole package here comes in this little ziplock bag and it comes with instructions and decals as you can see here it's got the 442 decals to go on the valve covers a piece of card to go in the packaging and in front of that card was the parts for the motor and in behind it it had this instruction set uh, just gonna read the blurb on it because actually it's quite uh, quite good uh, it says this most highly detailed scale engine set to date the LSX 442 supercharged B8 engine set is designed specifically as a direct fitment into the Revell 83 Hurstolds kit, but it will fit many other 125 builds also. Every single component is considerably proved or built from scratch to make this set more easy to assemble and yet fantastically detailed engine. Now he pressure casts. Um, his resin parts uh, with his own specific resin uh, which ensures high quality components you can easily manage a 600 horsepower from this all-american v8 uh, enjoy building this engine as much as I've had developing it for you now it has 17 components and we'll get to that and then it has all the prep work so if you guys want to pause it there you can see all the parts and the reference photos can be uh, seen at this clearly scale facebook page under photo albums or products assembled or at the clearlyscale.com website so the assembly tips does not have pictures but it is very easy to follow so you know connect the engine block to the transmission and align the engine vertically to attach oil pan and starter block starter to the block mount accessory engine plate da 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 da, da. very well worded and very easy to follow along so let's get to the parts because that's pretty much what you guys will want to see the most of I'm assuming so excite came with 17 parts we'll have a look at the transmission as you can see really well detailed you can even see the seam line between the the, the pan and the bottom of the transmission itself even raised detail for the bolt heads which you can pick them up quite easily and these parts come already pre sanded and pretty much ready to fit the motor I've dry fit most of this already and I can tell you it's 
really is maybe half an hour cleanup out of the bag. We have the oil pan. And it has the oil filter attached to that as well. And then the starter. The engine block. You know what I like about the way this engine block was done is you can pick up all the detail on that engine block. And then it has a keyway on the front for the pulley system to mount to which is really good and then we'll get to the heads now on the left hand side you can see I've got the head the coil packs and an exhaust manifold now you can see the valve cover excellent detail I actually see the ridge where it would actually bolt down um, you're looking at the side here, um, you'll see that I've already pre-drilled um, all these, and I've pre-drilled them all for uh, 062 solder wire to make up my own headers. So what I've done is I've snipped off a piece that I use, which I test fit into each hole that. I've drilled just to make sure that it's going to go in and sit nice and tight, which it does. And I achieved that using a pin drill vise with a multi-bit set, which uh, you can find at your local hobby store, no problem. And then on the bottom, you've got the holes for attaching your spark plug wires to go into your coil packs now I'm not sure how detailed you guys are going to get on this but you know even the stock manifold that comes with it exhaust manifold is designed to fit perfectly snug without me drilling those holes and on the left side of the engine of course at the front you've got your oil fill cap so I can't say enough about the detail on the, this motor. Uh, just to give you an idea on that head and the valve cover, as you guys can see plain as day, it's, it's excellent. I'll take the other head and we'll compare the two halves. So right out of the bag, you can see that he's located two holes for you to attach the exhaust manifold to. Um, which is a great fitment in itself right there. Um, the exhaust manifold itself comes with two pins, locator tabs, which fit into those two holes I was talking about. So as you can see there, we'll put those two heads together. So like I said, what I've done is I've gone and made those holes a little bigger and added two extra holes for my uh, custom headers that I'm going to make up but you can definitely see the detail in that as far as the manifolds, exhaust manifolds themselves you've got a left and a right and they're pretty nice, came with a little bit of flashing in between it was so easy to clean out with a hobby knife it, you know, like I said, clean up on this is just really simple and fast. Then we have our coil packs. Now, as you can see on the coil packs, there's a good, good detail on those. Now, you can leave that coil block together and just simply attach it to the valve cover. But if you didn't want to cover up, bolt heads for the valve cover then you can do as I did and separate separate them as I've shown here on this side 
So this way you can locate those coil packs wherever you wish to do so. And here we have the intake manifold with the blower. Which, as you can see, I mean the fuel rail on the side is uh, quite easily visible. It will be easy to detail. And then we'll keep that there. And we have the air filter with the intake tube. And that just simply connects here as such. And once again, you can see that fitment is nice and tight. And I didn't do anything with that. It actually came right out of the parts bag like that. So it should be very easy to put it together. Highly detailed. As you can see, the fins on the filter. And of course, where the tube attaches to the blower itself. Then we move on to the main pulley parts, you know, with the uh, everything that's attached to the motor itself, including the power steering reservoir and the alternator water pump and housings for the front end of the motor. Now, It comes with two different sets of pulleys and I got an extra one for some reason which was nice but as you can see there is a little bit of flash well I wouldn't say flash it's where it's he's got it mounted at the bottom and he's sanded it up so nicely you see how thin that is so when you go to clean it out it really is literally you know two minutes it's cleaned up it's good to go there's the back side of that side by side we'll flip them over then you guys can see the detail in that and then you have this other set the crank pulley now I opted to not clean the flash out here and here because it's really not all that visible once everything's attached but there is a raised surface detail and it came with a little bit of flash on the back side that I had to drill uh, so that way it would fit like so and then that would be glued to the front of that and then glued where these two surfaces meet and then there is that raised detail around there which I had to trim that hole that you see there to fit on top of that so it fits nice and tight but that would get mounted like so where it would attach to the alternator it would attach over here and then that pulley would meet up with the blower but as you can see that whole assembly together I mean you can pick out the detail on that and go to town and like I said I literally took half an hour to clean up these parts just to pick out all the detail and make sure it was really nice but you know literally here here's the piece that came how it came and I literally just poked through with my knife like so and 
it's just that easy. See how easy that flash comes out of there? And then you just work your hobby knife around it just to clean up the edge. So I didn't take a long time to do that. I mean, you can go way more into detail with that, but you could see literally that took me what 10 15 seconds to do that. And then you just hollow out the back side of that so you have a perfect circle for fitting over the pulley. Get in between these spaces, clean them up. So let's say five minutes to, to clean all that up. I mean, clearly scale has done a phenomenal job on this motor. I can't say enough about it. If you're an LS fan and you want to get something that's supercharged, I would highly recommend that you check out clearly scale detail and see what he's got on his website um i do have other things that i will bring to you that i have ordered from scale detail and i've had a chat with the owner and i'm looking at doing uh the hellcat now he's going to be coming out with uh the whole slew of parts for the hellcat the rims the motor uh, the seats uh, back half like the man is phenomenal so really great to talk to I can't say enough guys check out his Facebook page uh, clearly scale on uh, Facebook uh, his web store clearly scale.com Canadian manufacturer I'm Canadian so whenever I can support a Canadian uh, manufacturer, of course I will. I'm not biased on this by any means, as you guys have seen that I did uh, buy a motor from uh, from Sheldon, uh, Sheldon Rothwell, and I just finished doing a, uh, a video on his motor. And, you know, these guys are really comparative. But I will give the edge on clearly scale just for the simple reason. And the parts look like they're 3D printed. I mean, the ease of cleanup, this, that, uh, adding instructions to, to put it together. As far as that concerned, I mean, for you, you custom guys, I mean, I think this motor was uh, $17.50, so... You know, the price, is, price point's right there. I can't recommend it enough. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. Take care.